Hi, this is a Japanese Craft Beer Reviews, and we're going to look at a beer today uh, from a place close to Osaka, Japan, in the center part of Japan, and the town is called Itami, and in fact it's the location of the uh, main Osaka Airport, not the International Airport, but Osaka Airport, Itami Airport, and the brewery is called Konishi. And they've been around for quite a while. Uh, they were primarily a sake producer. Uh, but they also have a craft beer division. And they have a very nice restaurant uh, in, uh, in next to the brewery uh, where you can eat all sorts of interesting Belgian-style foods, uh, including mussels and uh, things like that. So the beer we're going to look at today is from Konishi. It's called Konishi. Uh, Chocola Premium, uh, a.k.a. Shirayuki Chocola Premium. And uh, Shirayuki is uh, the name they often give to uh, some of their beers, their line of beers, Shirayuki, uh, White Snow. Uh, it's classified as a flavored other on rate beer. Uh, Untapped calls it a stout other. And the reason for the other is the uh, added ingredients, which include Belgian chocolate. So uh, it has barley malt uh, from Germany, hops, and Belgian chocolate, uh, milk chocolate, uh, brown sugar as well. Um, and uh, and this is a winter-only beer, uh, so uh, I bought it at a discount, and the drink-by date was about a month ago, so we'll see how it is. It's dark, uh, I think dark malt, so it should be probably a little bit uh, a little bit okay after that drink by date. Rate beer gives it uh, has six ratings and the average is 2.67, pretty low. Uh, untapped, 168 ratings and quite different average, 3.39 out of five. Uh, so again, I got it at a discount <clears throat> here. Uh, and uh, I've never seen this anywhere before, so I thought I'd pick it up and give it a go. Uh, I think it's, uh, so they say winter only, uh, and it might have been uh, a, uh, usually around Valentine's Day, some beer, uh, many Japanese craft brewers come out with a, a chocolate beer, or a beer designed to emulate chocolate. In this case, they have actually included Belgian chocolate into the beer. So, shall we give this a go? It's called Konishi Chocola. Premium. I'm expecting it's a kind of stout. But... Okay, it is of course completely pitch black or pitch brown uh, with a frothy half a finger of foam. Uh, of course, carbonation not visible. All oh, right. Well, we certainly do get a chocolate nose. Uh, Maybe a light roast small, but primarily chocolate. Very sweet chocolate. They said milk chocolate, but it smells like dark chocolate. Maybe some dark fruitiness in the mix. Okay, chocolate. Um, starts off kind of rich dark fruity chocolate comes in in mid palate and really takes over from there. Um, bitterness is very mild. It's basically a very sweet sort of beer. The roastiness is apparent in the mid in the initial and then by mid palate it basically goes to all sweetness uh, and yeah uh, I think they might have overdone it with the chocolate here. Mm. Yeah, um, not entirely pleasant. Not unpleasant. I feel like drinking chocolate. You know, it's it's okay. Um, so, there's a beer writer in Portland uh, who wrote about the kind of conundrum of drinking something that is it beer? Is it beer or not beer? And where do we draw the line? You know. Uh, and I think he was talking mostly about fruit sours, uh, sour beers, uh, at that point. And this, I think, is just uh, on that kind of edge. Uh, almost, almost beer, but not quite. So, unfortunately, 
in any case, uh, if you see beers by Konishi, you want to give them a try. They make a variety of different beers. Konishi from Itami. Um, and it's just bitter and sweet. It's primarily sweet. Uh, once again, it's called Konishi Chocola Premium. Uh, and you can give it a go and see what you think. Uh, uh, sometimes chocolate works well in beer, uh, but generally brewers try to emulate the flavor of chocolate by using, you know, roast malt and, uh, uh, and hops and trying to achieve a balance there that seems chocolate-like. Uh, some do. Uh, young, uh, youngs in Britain, uh, they double chocolate and things like that. So, uh, but in any case. Okay, well that's it for today. Uh, stay well, take care, subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.